This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Before we get started in these tutorials, I want to suggest that you set up the assets that we provide with these tutorials in a way that makes them readily accessible as you work on these various projects. I think it's best that you take the working files folder that we provide with the tutorials and drag it to your desktop, whether you're working in Mac or Windows. Just bring it here to the desktop intact. Inside this folder is a bunch of other subfolders full of the assets that we'll work on in these projects. So just put it there and it makes it much easier to access these guys as we work on the projects. I also want to suggest that you create an empty folder that you can put files in as you work on them in the tutorials. I suggest calling it something like My Encore Exercise Files. Right now it's empty and will probably remain empty throughout much of the work that you do. You'll do some work, you'll save your work inside here, and then when you finish a project, you can simply delete it from here. You don't necessarily need to keep it here. The reason I suggest doing that is that as you work on projects from inside here, you're going to open up a bunch of Encore projects, for example, and you're going to work on them. You're going to change them and save them. Well, if you save them back to this folder, back to the Working Files folder or the Encore Projects folder, you're going to change the original files that we gave you. Now, all is not lost if you do that, but it makes it a lot easier on you if you do save them inside this little empty folder over here. If you do change some of the original files, you know, you can always go back to the original working files folder and replace anything that you changed or deleted. So there's always a backup plan. But nevertheless, I think it makes it a whole lot easier to take the working files folder, just drag it here to the desktop, create an empty folder here for you to do your work, like call it a scratch folder if you want to think of it that way. And that'll make working on these projects go much more smoothly.